Hello everyone. We will continue that topic, menu exit. And now we will learn how to implement menu exit. In the previous videos, we studied how to find a menu exit. Now we will implement the menu exit in cat to transaction code. And if you remember in the previous videos, I told that C mode is the transaction code to implement customer exit. It means if I want to implement function module exit, if I want to implement menu exit, if I want to implement screen exit, so we have a single transaction code C mode. So I will go to C mode transaction code. And you will find the process very, very similar because with the help of same to same transaction code, we implemented the function module exit also. Now, I after going to C mode transaction code, but the next thing you have to do, you have to give a project name. So I am implementing menu exit. So I will give suppose ZM exit and I will give the serial number. I'll click on to create button. I will give the short description. Project for menu exit. And we are going for which transaction code? CAT. Suppose I'm giving a meaningful description. After that, you have to click on to which particular tab, which particular button and enhancement assignment button. During implementing function module exit also, we did the same to same thing. So I will click on to enhancement assignment tab and I will save this. system is hanged. I will just wait. I'll save this as a local object. Now here, what we need to pass, we need to pass the name of the customer exit. If you remember in function module exit also, I put the so much stress that you need to pass the name of the customer exit and how to find the customer exit name you have to go to s mode transaction code utilities find so the package name in the last video when we studied the package name for the cat 2 is cats so i am passing the package name now we have to go for customer functions we are going for customers function so we studied that this is the customer exit, which is useful for us. When we double click, we have function module exit and we have menu exit. So we will pass the name of this customer exit. And I will press enter. Now, after that, we need to click on to components tab. Whenever you will click on to components tab, whatever the function module exit, whatever the menu exit, whatever the screen exit are available in this customer exit, all will appear into components tab. I will go to components tab and I will say. Now you can see one function module exit and six menu exits are automatically appearing. Just compare it. Is it same to same? If I'm going to this customer exit, we have one function module exit, one function module exit. We have six menu exits, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do we have six menu exits? Yes, we have six menu exits. So whenever you clicked on to the components tab, it is showing you all the menu exits available. Now, out of all these menu exits, which menu exit we have to implement? If I will go for our requirement and show you again, I'm going to CAT2. We want a button 
in this we want a button we want a button if you remember we went to system status we checked the gui status we went to menu bar and plus cu6 and plus cu7 they are a, they are the part of go to it means we have to implement which menu exit plus cu6 or we can go for plus cu7 as of now we are only we are only going for one menu item approve time sheet so we can go for plus cu6 or we can go for plus cu cu7 it's your wish whatever you want to go suppose if we want to go for one more menu item then we can implement both we can implement plus cu6 and plus cu7 both as of now we are only going for one menu item so suppose i will implement plus cu6 so what is the next step you have to double click on required menu exit so i'll go to change mode i will double click on plus cu6 now we will provide the required information suppose i am giving the function text approve time sheet now we have to choose a icon you all know every everything has a icon suppose we have a save button we have a icon we have a syntax button we have a icon we have a activation button we have a icon so icon is most important so i will choose the icon through f4 help and i will take a meaningful icon suppose i am saying approve okay this is icon is good i'll choose this icon suppose i am passing the icon text same to same i am going for information text same to same and i am clicking on to copy button i will save into the transport request now i implemented plus cu6 the menu, i implemented the menu exit which has the function code plus cu6 now in the previous video so we provided all the information yes now in the last video when we implemented function module exit that people will do up to this level but they forgot to activate the project so you if you want whatever you did to be reflected you need to activate the project so i am activating the project so now it is in green color yes now i will show you cat to is whatever we did is reflecting or not so i am going to cat to transaction code now you can simply simply go for go to and tell me are you getting a menu item with approved time sheet yes you are getting a menu item with approved time sheet now many people will ask me you added to the menu you added to the menu bar why it is coming into application toolbar also just see because sap provided the same to same thing in the application toolbar also that's why it appeared there if i am going to application toolbar you can see plus cu6 and plus cu7 sap provided there also that's why we added to menu bar but sap gave in the application toolbar also that's why it's reflected there now we will go for next step next step now our menu item our menu item is appearing if i will go to cat to and this is the important point now approve time sheet is coming now we added one menu item approve time sheet now we need to go for customer specific action what customer is saying whenever i will click on to approve time sheet it should go to cat for transaction code it means you need to write a logic you need to write your own logic just recall 
when we studied function module exit what is the purpose of function module exit its purpose is to write your own code so function module exit is the most most important one see we implemented menu exit our menu item is coming there but if we want some functionality or if you want some reaction we need to write the code if you need to write the code we need to implement what we need to implement function module exit so function module exit is playing a important role in terms of menu exit also now we will go for same to same and we will implement function module exit also so we will go to c more transaction code c more so this is the project which we created we will go to components tab we implemented menu exit can we implement this function module exit also yes double click on this function module check the description also it is saying clear thing customer functions in the initial screen what is the customer we are, we are going for customer functions in the initial screen so i'll go to source code now i will double click on to this z include you can simply recall all the things you are writing the logic into customer namespace i am double clicking yes i am creating i will save this as a local object now i will write the logic if see i am writing the logic based upon if condition or i will uh, based upon the function codes the best word i will say function codes why i am going for function code see as of now we implemented one menu item which has the function code cu6 if you are implementing one more if you are going for one more menu item the function code will be plus cu7 suppose on plus cu6 you want to go to cat4 on cu7 you want to go for cat6 it means you have different different function code so always always best you have to pass the function code so i am writing if Psi u com is equal to plus c u six, and you all know psi u com is a system variable which always capture the value of function code. I am going for end if. So I will simply write if user is clicking on approve timesheet, what is the function code of that plus c u six? So I am writing. call transaction cat4 and we started and we put so much stress that this plus sign is very very important and see it is playing a important role i am activating this include i will go to back button now i will go to back button do not forgot to activate your project so i am activating the project and you can see we implemented the function module exit also see tick is coming so we implemented function module exit also previously we implemented menu exit so if you are going for menu exit also to write the code anyways you have to implement function module exit now in the next video we will see in the debugging mode are we getting the expected result that's it in this video thank you